So the Koreans clawing their way back in. in. Four, seven. important to find the point of attack and maintain and that forward momentum force your opponents into defensive patterns now Yun-Chong just looking around at the umpires and Tan Boon Yong very happy with the fact that that last shot just sneaked in. Have a look at it here. Actually looks clearly in. I don't really know what Yu Yun Song is questioning or asking about. He's, he hasn't actually asked a question. This looks a little quizzical. to query 6-8 six, six, they've managed to cut that 6 point lead down to 2 Fantastic shot. A disguised drop again, this time from right on the baseline. So good, nobody moved. Seven, eight. Tom Bun Hyung with a smile on his face. He knows how good that shot was. You. So, you seven, eight. And the Koreans back into it. And some good work there from Hoon Tien Hao, who has showed how quick his reflexes are. Seven, eight. That's what it's all about in doubles. It's about power, it's about reflexes. That was a phenomenal rally. Maybe an indicator of some of the things to come in this match. Nine, seven. That's an important point for Malaysians. Idea it was going long. He checked Eight, twice. Nine. Lee Yong Day, such a decorated doubles player. Wasn't going to leave any chance there. Now the Koreans with a chance to draw level. And don't forget they were one point six left down. We were talking earlier about how important it is to be able to recoup points, not just score them. And the Korean pair of Lee Yong Day and Yu Yun Song have done that exceptionally well in this opening game.
Well, that one just Ten, hit the floor. Nine. You can see the power they're putting in. They want to go on their own points run. And it was just upward strokes and defensive lifts that the Malaysian team were forced into from those smashes. Of course, the Thomas and Uber Cups have drawn all sorts of people to New Delhi for this week. And there has been a fantastic atmosphere around the stadium and the city. As badminton's most prestigious tournament has been played out again. This is the 28th tournament for the Thomas Cup, the 25th for the Uber Cup. The brainchild of Sir George Allen Thomas. Just followed a few years later by Betty Uber, who started the Uber Cup. The first tournament held in 1948. It used to be every three years. Now, of course, it is every two. Has been known as the World Team Championships and the World Cup of Badminton. Great idea from Tan Boon Hyung. So, Lee Yong Jae and Yu Yun Seong take the lead for the first time at the 11 point break. So 11-10, first time effectively the Koreans have been in charge of this game after being six love down. I'm sure they wouldn't have wanted to start the second phase of this first game like that. Still, they've proved that they can pull them back. And I'm sure they've given Tan Boon Hyung here a little bit more to think about. And he's obviously out. 12, 11. I'm sure these pairings will be getting a talking to if they started playing shots that were so obviously flying out. Well, it's an interesting point and an open area to score points. Power and angle. Very difficult shot to attempt, but. There is, of course, a certain stability to this Korean pair. Both guys roughly the same height. Nice plan from Tom Bunyong. And they're just staying 13, ahead here. 13 12. 13 12. It's up to. 2 nothing in the tie score after Lee Chong Wei, as usual, delivered Malaysia's first point in style. 21-17, 21-17 against the 26-year-old Sun Won Ho. The opening match. Pan Boon Hyung and Hun Tian Hao can build up another six-point lead here. 
Well, that would be very interesting indeed. Say about that. Thirteen, fourteen. I think on the, on the run of it, you have to say that this has been a grand performance from the Malaysian pair. It'll be tied 14 all. It could so easily have been very different. Like the reflexes are at least containing the Yong Day Yu Yun Song. But it's which pair will launch themselves from this 14, 14 position. Which pair? He's going to take the attacking stance. Get some momentum together. And take it through to 21. Korea, of course, a point down. Now, maybe a little bit extra from them is needed. that they would pull off a two-point lead at the most critical time. 16-14. Ah! But Opa. by the looks of it, Opa. they have been battling away the Malaysian pair and they're not letting go of this game as easily. There's a lot of people that were speculating as to the effectiveness of these scratch pairs at the Thomas Nuba Cups. And my fellow commentators, Julian Clark and world number one, former world number one, Morton Frost, were both very impressed by them early. Okay, thank you. Really, it is the way Opa. to change the game up Opa. at this highest level of badminton thank by you. pairing together players that you would never Opa, really okay. think could start gelling so quickly before a tournament. It is, of course, risky. We have 15, seen a couple of scratch 15. pairs played earlier this week that were a little bit lacking on communication, a bit lacking on their positional awareness. Of course, their shots were impeccable. And it's just that understanding that you have with your partner. Oh. Oh, straight to the face of Yu Yong Song. And the Malaysians just oh. making sure that the Koreans understand that they are not done here. And of course, a lot of people would be wondering, well, what would have happened if Koo Kin Kat had still been playing with this man, Tan Boon Hyong? How would they have fared? They weren't putting together the greatest of results beforehand. Perhaps Tan Boon Hyong has moved on to 
more productive relationship. Only time will tell. That was a fantastic piece of movement from Tan Boon Hyung. So close to the net. 16. Moving side to side. And there's that cross court net kill. To the backhand side of Yu Yun Xiong. Seventeen sixteen. Well done from the Malaysians. Seventeen. Oh. 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 This really is turning into a fantastic matchup. Koreans needing that point. They know how important it would be to win this first game. The second match of the Malaysia Korea tie to decide who will top Group C. No one knows yet, of course, as to who they'll be facing, but it's always advisable to top your group. As the winners will be seated. And you stand a greater chance of avoiding the 17, likes of Indonesia and China, 17. both already qualified for the quarterfinals. Their matches were before this. Indonesia beating Thailand to make it three wins and topping Group A. China, of course, flawless with the exception of a couple of games, one of which was lost by Lin Dan, but essentially flawless at three wins over France to top Group D. And look at this. shot from Malaysia. They could see 18, that the flow of play 19. was moving towards that forehand court for the Koreans. And just one, almost like a, a drive from the forecourt. Very risky as it could go long. And Tan Boon Hyung looks like he's in a fantastic mood. Very happy. It dropped nicely for him. And it was open court. And there's the German team. They yeah, are, of course, in action right now. And the Uber Cup Group Z match that is in court three against the Malaysian women. So, Malaysian men and Malaysian women playing side by side here in New Delhi. Point there for Yu Yun Ten point, eighteen. Down the line. Those four court drives, and now game point. <laughs> now that is, that is interesting. A slip, maybe. That is over. And. It was only right. 20. No, it wasn't really a slip. It was a nicely disguised shot that wrong footed Yu Yun Song had him on the floor. So 19 20 and a chance for Malaysia to stretch out this opening game. Now, I hope he didn't pick up a knock from that or a stretch. He looks like he's fine. He's walking up. Lee Yong Day ready to receive Tan Boon Hyong with the serve. Yay. That was no answer to that. And that's 21 19. Korea. And the first game after being 6 love 19. down, the Koreans take the advantage in our first doubles match. Lee on the top.
So game two for the Malaysian doubles pair of Hun Chen Hao and Tan Bun Hyong right here on your screen. They're facing Lee Yong Day and Yu Yun Xiong from Korea. And after being six love up in the first game and fighting very hard, I did say earlier in the previous singles match that Korean badminton never gives up. And that's exactly how you can describe the performance of Lee Yong Day and Yu Yun Xiong who never Double. gave up and pulled back that six love Play. deficit to win the first game. And again, nicely placed. One lob. Now, Korea's strategy would, of course, be based on their doubles. They are phenomenal doubles competitions. Time is born, called. Service over. One. Oh. One all, service back with Malaysia. are going to let Hu and Tan streak away. It was just a question of warming up. And Tan Budhyong. And it was deserving of a point. Moving from side. Very difficult. You can see. Here he starts. Moves to the side. Comes back. Moves again. Again. Good teamwork. Give him a 3-1 lead. Four, one. Everything are building nicely. I did say that the would do everything they could to stop the Malaysian pair up another point lead but so far they haven't had a chance it's been nicely marshaled at the net by Tan Bun Hyong so Wu Jian Hao with the serve and quick read for Pi Yong Day that time they did have to say about that point performance. Five, he has impressed so far. Two. He's impressed over the last year or two as well. Second gate. Unmissable. Five. Yeah, just very, very happy with the way they're delivering for their countries. Min Chen Hao. A little bit of background for him. He was a bronze medalist to the Asian Championships. He has, of course, played at the Thomas Cup before in 2010. 
Uh, Malaysia were bronze medalists and a gold medalist at the Boys Doubles World Junior Championships way back in 2000. Boys only 27 now. Five all. And before this pairing with Tan Boon Hyong was quite successful with Chan Chong Ming, you might remember. This is the semi finalist of the Indonesian Open 2008 as well. So he's experienced enough. And both pairs have started off this second game nicely matched. Unwanted lapse of concentration from Hoon and Tan. Attack back in seven. Just as six. quickly, that edge is sent back to Malaysia as Yu Yun Song clips the net. Seven all. Seven all. Coach is always, of course, deadly serious. As I get this feeling. Strict authoritarian. Seven. Shines out the eyes. Talk to the coaches. 8 7. Well, their protégés now. Nine, seven. So, we have 11 point and Yu Yun Xiong just slightly edging it. and fans, and there are some Korean drummers that arrived at the stadium to join some of the other drumming contingents. The Indonesians also have their drumming contingent. Now, that was again more pounced on by Hun Tien. And how unfazed by some of the other activity that's happening in the stadium. You can hear from the PA. Let's give you an update on some of the scores. The Germany in the yeah, Thomas Cup Group C match it is now one apiece. That's on Group Z match, Germany. That's at. Yep, they're doing very well there. That is over. Eight. That's one love. Japan and Denmark. Richard Kaufman. Eleven eight is where we stand. Oh, in the second game of the first doubles encounter. 
within the Malaysia career time right, that rounds off the round robin campaigns for both countries both qualified for the quarterfinals already here in New Delhi at the Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2014 the question is which team will finish currently Malaysia um, games difference but a points difference they won 4-1 and 4 in India whereas Korea and 3-2 and by having lost points, Malaysia are probably those two points, and Korea losing four, well, it means that coming in here that both were on four points for the group. And now this match, this tie of five matches, two doubles and three singles to decide who goes into the quarterfinals as group leaders. Fantastic shot from Tan Boon Young again. He has been Ten, pulling them out. I'm sure that one. Oh, I thought that would make merit a smile. He was literally crouched down from the previous shot. And he played a little push drive from down there. Uh, just about found its way to being in. And he needed that point. And so did his partner. 10-11. Tan Boon Young to serve. Again, Tan Lun Yong with a reflex clear. If I'm right, he wasn't even facing the net. He was just a hit and hope, just clipped the net. And from two beautiful pieces of recovery from Tan Lun Yong, the Malaysian pair have now drawn level. Now a bit of controversy that. Do not do that. Okay, As I time. said, it looked like a, the surf was made. And Tan Bun Yong is just showing that perhaps the Koreans weren't ready for it. Alright. And that played. And this time it doesn't go near. Eleven. The Korean service court. Twelve eleven. Nicely poised this match. Now that was with Tan Bun Hyong so Tan far off court. A perfect opportunity for Lee Yong Dae and Union Sung to finish that point off as it was. Tan Bun Hyong's return had enough power on it to just let the shots play wide. Service back with Hun Tian Hao and Malaysia. Well shot. 13, 12. As you can see, it's drums from within the team. It's a nice little surprise. I can assure you there are other drummers that are not part of the official setup. Well, that's always good to see. Must be good for the rhythm. Oh, Han Bu Yong's luck from that back line seems to be fading a little. So now, a good solid three points, which in a game as tight as this, could mean the difference. Lee Yong Day and Yu Yun Xiong are six points away from equating the tie score 
And you can see there Malaysia 1-0 up from the usual clinical performance from Lee Chong Wei in the opening match. Oh, just 16, hit the net. That toss 12. didn't work. So now it's four points. And we might very well be seeing uh, straight games win. I don't even know how he got that shuffle back, but he did. You can just see from the fist pumps, I did say it earlier, Korean badminton never gives up, especially in doubles. Don't forget that this pair was six love down in the opening game. And credit to the Malaysians. They have really taken it to Lee Yong Day and Yu Yun Seong. But now they are easing towards the finish line here. 17 12. On serve. Yu Yun Seong to get us underway. Seventeen. 12. Oh. You'd have to wait a little bit longer. Copy. Now, you'd have to think 17. that if Tan Boon Hyong And Hun Chen Hao are going to try and take this to a rubber game. They're going to have to make their stand now as the Koreans are looking clinical. So 14-17, one point pulled back. And let's just see if Malaysia has those skills of recovery. And I was just talking about it's ever so important. Oh. 15, 17. So far so good. When you do start fighting at this level, It's just as important as your ability to place outright winners. I think a lot of golfers, any golfers watching would know the value of recovery as being equal to that of attack and defense. And now they're just one point back. Malaysian fans, you can hear them in the background. And what they're facing here. 18, 16. The Koreans get one point closer to the match. Still not too late 17, for them to 18. launch a mini charge. Hun Jian Hao has largely been sitting back now. He was responsible, especially in the early part of the first game, for marshalling the net with some beautiful lifts and really nice upward reflexes strokes. And most of the work in the last few points has been done by his teammate, Tan Bun Hyong. Well, well, well. 18 all. The Koreans might say never say that. You just look at the expression on Kim Chen Hao's face. He wants to take this to a rubber game.
He's not given up just yet. And that's more important to half the badminton fans in Malaysia than winning. Showing that steel, that resolution. And doing the best they can. But some that quick moves enough. from the Korean Pep, highly 19. experienced Korean Pep. That backhand net toss just hit the trainers of Tan Bun Hyong, 19-18. So here we are, match point from, again, I'll remind you, the pair that was six love down in the first game. Not yet. Just as was the case in the first game, Hun Jianhao, the look of steely determination on 19, his face, 20. is not letting this go. Oh, his reflexes again, coming back at just the right time. Now, can they do something here? Yay! Tan Bun Hyong with the errant shot and 21-19, 21-19. Means it's one apiece between Korea and Malaysia. Match won by Korea. Smiles. 21-19. 21-19. Jubilation. So as Lee Chong Wei had mirrored 21-17, 21-17 scores in his.